Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your wonderful and a very short speech. I expected to have uh, additional three minutes to listen to your speech, but you already finished your speech. That is uh, uh, great. Uh, Mr. Chairman, my dear elected uh, colleagues, honorable ministers, vice ministers, CEOs of uh, companies or sector members and uh, academy representatives, dear colleagues, uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's really a great pleasure to see you here. Now, since I have uh, additional more minutes, I'd like to say a few words before I read my speech. That uh, year 2000, we had our first uh, GSR meeting held here. I was one of those who were on the podium as well. I don't know how many of you were there, but at least uh, 18 years later, I'm very pleased to join this GSR back to CICG again. I give you some stories. I was elected as uh, director of TSP by our members at the Planning Potential Conference 1998 in October in Minneapolis of the United States. After my election, some delegates came to me, suggested that ITUT could create a platform for regulators because it was 1997, WTO privatized telecommunication businesses as uh, commercial businesses. Before it was a government uh, business, now it's a commercial business. Then more and more countries established uh, regulators try to address this issue. And at that moment, uh, why I was approached? It was because ITU telecommunication regulation approved uh, by IT families in Melbourne, 1988, had a lot of work with uh, ITUT, then CCITT's work of Star Group 2, Star Group 1, Star Group 2, Star Group 3, for tariff related matters, accounting issues, operation, quality of service, all this. So therefore, I understand the delegates came to approach me to ask uh, if uh, I could help to establish a platform to invite uh, regulators to come together to share experiences. I promised, yes, I will try to do that. So after I started my, my, my term as the director of TSP in February 1999, so I tried to pick up this idea and I tried to talk with my colleagues. The first one I talked was Mr. Tuwe. He was elected as the director of the Development Bureau at the same planning potential conference in Minneapolis. Then immediately he told me, you are Mr. Zhou. No, 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 it's not your business, it's my business. I said, why? Because uh, he said, uh, you know, a lot of delegates uh, at that meeting approached him, asked uh, if uh, Dr. Tuwe could uh, create uh, such kind of a platform for GSR. So he was not uh, informed that uh, those delegates contacted me. I was not informed by those delegates that they contacted Dr. Tuwe. But anyhow, we tried to, to discuss this issue because he did, not, he did not forget that one. I did not forget that one. We talked uh, uh, again, you know, this issue after we came to our office in the beginning of 1909. But of course, I see a lot of value for this sector to create such a platform and also with Dr. Tuwe's personality. You know, if you want to push, you want to push. I said, okay, you do that. So what I will do is I will do some others. I do uh, a lot, another platform we call uh, the CTO, Chief uh, Technical Officers. So I invited uh, the CTOs of uh, big sector members to come to uh, T sector to talk about the cooperation. So we, ha we created that uh, platform. I'm very pleased that that platform still continued. But it's not as uh, influential as uh, GSR, uh, you know, the BDT created. Because uh, telecom, suffered a very difficult uh, time of uh, competition and, uh, and uh, you know, environmental changes that uh, many uh, sector members disappeared, big companies, while our regulators you know, came in stronger and stronger. So that, uh, I see that uh, it's, a, it's very nice to have this uh, story that uh, you know, we see our GSR and, uh, after 18 years were attended by so many of you here in this room. So we appreciate very much uh, your wonderful work uh, in the last uh, 18 years for helping the global market uh, to facilitate ICT development, 
to achieve uh, wonderful uh, results today that uh, you know, we have more uh, mobile penetrations, subscriptions, than the more world uh, population. And then we have a lot of uh, uh, broadband connections uh, everywhere in the world, and uh, 3G, 4G is so no longer issue. Now we are talking about 5G. So I think that uh, uh, there is one important uh, fact that we have to keep in mind. No matter what kind of uh, financial crisis the world suffered over the last uh, 18 years, in Europe, uh, in Asia, in America, you know, that uh, in, uh, in many places. But the ICT is always uh, you know, invested and always get uh, good development. I think partly because our regulators have done a wonderful job to work with all partners concerned to address the market issues and to find the solutions. So I would agree with our chairman so that uh, the end of this uh, meeting and our regulator will become much wider, much wiser, and uh, uh, much smarter, you know, that uh, to help us to take care of the future development of ICT in the world. So that is uh, my privilege to use the three minutes left by my chairman. Let me start to read my text. So dear chairman, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this 18th edition of the Global Symposium for Regulators. I think it is fair to say that all of us are at the forefront of today's digital transformation. The first global ICT regulatory outlook released last year by ITU showed that expectations of regulation in the field of information and communication technology, ICT, have grown. Not surprisingly, the pace of regulation in the ICT sector is faster than in most other industries. And I say this mindful that the regulatory authorities are often characterized as lagging behind the technological changes that they need to keep up with the faster pace of the industry and address new frontiers technologies like artificial intelligence, AI, big data, cloud computing, and Internet of Things, and 5G. We at ITU embrace our role as a catalyst for innovation and technology development. Just a few weeks ago, ITU held its second AI for Good Global Summit in Geneva, which brought together leading minds in AI and uh, humanitarian actions from UN sister organizations and uh, the businesses world in an effort to help accelerate progress towards the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The summit formulated a number of strategies to ensure trusted, safe, and inclusive development of AI technologies and equitable access to their benefits. Innovation and technology development are central to ITU events and activities. They were an important part of the conversation that uh, took place at the WISIS Forum here in Geneva at the end of March this year. Many of your regulatory agencies were represented there. In fact, many of you were there personally, and I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for taking part in this event and making the WISIS Forum the leading ICT for development event in the world. Let me also express my thanks to my friends here from regulatory agencies who are helping us bringing their SMEs to Dubai for ITU Telecom World 2018. As you all know, tech SMEs, startups, are vital to today's digital economy in terms of growth, jobs, and innovation. I invite all of you to join us in South Africa in early September for this important event. To be exact, from 10th to 13th of September. 
what this shows is that information and communication technology ICTs now permit, permit every aspect of our lives. 2017 produced more data than the entire history of humanity. We are moving to a world where everyone and everything will be connected at all times and across countries, people, and sectors. Significant progress has been made toward uh, bringing mobile broadband technologies to rural and remote areas. 85% of the world's population was covered by a mobile broadband network at the beginning of 2017. The number of mobile cellular subscriptions worldwide exceeds the global population. As for fixed broadband adoption, it continues to increase at a steady pace and with increasing speeds. In early 2017, almost 70% all fixed broadband subscriptions in the developing countries had advertised speed equal or bigger above 10 megabits per second. Also, the overall penetration rate in developing countries is still well below that of developing countries. In response, ICT regulators are teaming with uh, regulators from other sectors to address multi-sector issues, policies, laws, and uh, regulations need to be updated in nearly every aspect of our daily lives as consumers, businesses, and citizens. The move toward a more open, collaborative, incentive-based, and cross-sectorial regulation will be critically important in delivering on the rich promise of the digital economy, not just for the benefit of consumers and businesses, but to all those who are <coughs> still unconnected around the world. Connectability is key for health, agriculture, banking, and education. It is the key for all the sectors of the economy that can benefit from increased efficiency, new services, and innovative business models that emerging technologies can bring. The risk is that the wave of technological change might deepen the digital divide between the haves and those have-nots, where 3.9 billion people around the world are still not using the internet, let alone today's new frontier technologies. There can be no mass digitalization without universal and affordable access to broadband. With important events like today, let us increase awareness of the need for effective and supportive policies that can create a strong enabling environment for broadband. Divergent regulatory frameworks across the world add complexity, create uncertainty, and discourage investment. As the head of the UN agency for ICT, I have made clear that the investment in ICT infrastructure is an absolute priority. And I, as I told the 20 18 session of IT Council last April, we can never take infrastructure investment for granted. Together with innovation and inclusiveness, infrastructure and investment form the four I's that are critical to bring, bridging the digital divide and leveraging the power of ICTs to advance with its action lines, Connect 2020, and the SDGs. Ladies and gentlemen, how we deal with this transformation will be a defining challenge of the 21st century. It will be a central question 
at ITU's upcoming plenary potential conference in October in Dubai. And that is why this symposium and the PP18 are closely linked to one another. The dialogue that takes place here over four days among policymakers, industry leaders, and other key ICT stakeholders will inform our work on regulation at our highest level meeting later this year. It will help focus on the major issues facing the ICT sector at a time when AI, big data, the app economy, cloud computing, IoT technologies, social media, and mobile technology are creating new frontiers and business models that put regulatory paradigms to the test. Today, ICTs are less visible, but more prevalent. Regulators and policymakers from around the world are in the unique position to unleash the opportunities brought about by new technologies and business models. You are the lighthouse guiding us to growth, development, and sustainability. So let us strengthen our dialogue. Let us continue to work together to harness ICTs for the greater good and for everyone. I wish you all a successful and a productive uh, symposium. Now, please allow me to officially announce the opening of the 18th session of GSR, GSR 2018. Thank you very much.